first day at Tiny Fest Southwest and guess what the bread truck is indeed for sale it is listed online on Facebook marketplace you can find it if you follow me Paul Barger you'll find my listing for the bread truck and all of its features on Facebook marketplace but as you can see it is a very gloomy and wet day here in Scottsdale Arizona not the best day for a tiny house festival but we're making the best of it we had a bunch of people come and check out the bread truck and I just thought I would walk around and show you a couple of the different vans that you can see here at tiny fest we've had a great time at tiny fest just like always uh, Renee who is the organizer of this event is absolutely awesome she is definitely our favorite tiny house host that we have met so far this is our fourth tiny house show that we've done and we freaking love tiny fest i love tiny fest thank you renee for hosting a great event here's a badass machine right here i don't know what you exactly call this i call it a unimog but i don't think that's exactly what it is but i think it's a U united states military vehicle but look at this thing it's massively huge completely capable off-road vehicle and uh yeah, it has, it, it's kick-ass for sure. Totally kick-ass. This one is a Nomadic Customs van. It's the big sprinter with the four-wheel drive and everything. This is a very capable off-road rig right here. This is like high-class van life right here. You can't get any better than that. Wow, that is huge. And it's even got the high-top ceiling. Look at that. I don't know what's up there. That is crazy. There's a bunch of little mini school buses out here. Look at this cute little guy. Very clean. Nice done little rig. But guess who's this is? This is the organizer of the event, the Tiny Fest Express. This is Renee's rig. She is a full-time nomad herself, and she hosts these Tiny Fest events. Oh yeah, this is another person who is involved in the organization of the event. This is Bacon's Rebellion. <laughs> How's it going, Joe? Hey, good. Excellent. Beautiful van, man. Thank you. Oh, and it's for sale too. So if you want yourself a fully built out Ram Pro Master, this is your van. Here's a little quick look of the inside of the van. Beautiful kitchen with a nice live edge countertop, natural wood finishes inside. And there's the creator of the van right there, Joe. <laughs> Thanks for letting us see it, buddy. No All right. This is a full size school bus. These are awesome. Look at that thing. I believe this one is a diesel pusher with the motor in the back. Nice, cool little paint job of the mountains. A little artistic touch to it got lots of things here at tiny fest oh yes it is a diesel pusher with the motor in the back pretty awesome full-size bus then we have this beast this is a totally private full-size 18 wheeler tractor trailer with a freaking tiny house on the back this whole thing is a pop-up tiny house that whole thing lifts up and gives you extra foot of space everything inside this is a giant tiny house does that even make it a tiny house anymore if it's giant I don't know I don't know how that works but this thing is huge look at that it's a massive truck we've got shuttle buses that are all built out hello how you doing this is another facet of tiny living is a shuttle bus these are old like airport shuttles that kind of thing and people are turning these into tiny homes as well okay so this suv is not a tiny house but its cargo trailer behind it certainly is this is another way that you can live tiny is to build out one of these awesome fully enclosed cargo trailers and turn it into a tiny house on wheels Here's another short school bus. This is the typical full size bus size, but the short version, it's only about half the length of a full size school bus, but with all of the full size things like the motor and chassis is all full size, but a short body on it. 
Got a nice little house inside of there. This is a bus called Willow. Willow features a motorcycle on the front of the rig to get you into those little off out of the way places if you want to go off the road. Where, places where the bus can't go, hop on the motorcycle, take a ride into town, go see whatever you got to see on the tiny little motorcycle when your tiny little bus can't get you there. But look at that, isn't that sweet? Cool sunset picture, sunset paint job on the bus. And this thing is ready to go. And there's the Instagram handle. Where is Willow? Even a full-size conversion van is here. I like this, this is slick. It's like a limousine van, but turned into a tiny house on the inside. On the outside, it looks like a sleek, custom conversion van. I like it. Here's another full-size bus with a little bit of artistic touch to it. These full-size buses make a really nice, big, tiny house inside. Really cool conversions done on these giant full-size buses. Really not a bad price when you buy one of these buses. You get the whole bus movable with the motor and everything under $10,000. And then you can build it out into a legit living space inside. It is freaking awesome. Another option for tiny living is an ambulance. This one here is for sale, $25,000. That is a great price for a little built out living space ambulance. Perfect for the road. Look at that. Right next door, guess what? Boom, another ambulance. This one's called the Janbul Janbulance. Ambulances are a good choice if you want to live tiny. Hop in one of these little ambulances and you can have a tiny house on wheels. This is a truck that I've always dreamt about having on the road. A giant box truck. This is a Ram Cummins Turbo Diesel 4x4. I've seen these as tour vehicles at the Grand Canyon and uh, Yellowstone National Park. Like these are super capable off-road adventure rigs and a huge living space on the back. Look at that. They have a fold-down deck and a canopy and the little entrance to the house. What an awesome rig this is. I would love to have one of these for myself. Go anywhere you want. Even this little guy, look at this. This is a classic Dodge Sportsman van that has been turned into a wooden house truck on the back, completely custom build. The guy built it all from by himself. It's, you know, a, a, a typical chassis that you see a lot Dodge van front end, dually rear end, but he built his whole living space all out of wood in the house style, like a house truck. This is a friend of ours, enjoy, enjoy the journey. This is Matt, he works with Tiny House Giant Journey. He's with the Good Vibe Collective. Matt is a super guy and a good friend, and he is here at the show as well, showing off his first gen Sprinter van. I'm shooting this video right here at the end of the day. The show is closing down about five minutes ago. Closes at five. We have one more day to go. It's gonna be Sunday, 10 a.m. through 5 p.m. So if you're in the Scottsdale, Phoenix area, come out and check out Tiny Fest Southwest in Scottsdale. We are at Westworld where you can see all these amazing rigs. I just showed you the Nomad Village, which is outside, but inside there is a whole huge showroom of tiny houses and builders that do this professionally if you're into purchasing a tiny house or something like that you can go inside and see all the pro builds where they have way way more complex beautiful builds tiny houses inside let me go inside here real quick and just show you around what we got going on inside this convention center so I've told my story, and you may have heard my story. It's bad uh, weather, everybody. In 1995, I was just a, speaking at I was married, had two kids, living the American dream, which for me was a nightmare. And I went through a divorce. What's going on here? At the end of the, the divorce, family. Uh, my wife had stayed home with her. Face. Face. <laughs> so it's We're hard. breaking the internet, right? <laughs> we even saw Bob Wells with Cheap RV Living speak, and we even got a picture with him. There we go. Now we have the 
typical tiny houses on trailers on wheels all different sizes really huge ones a little bit smaller ones really cool tiny houses all over the place in here it's nice in here because you're outside you're inside out of the rain so if you want to see model homes tiny homes come inside and you can check out all of these as well you also see a lot of sprinter vans and dodge ram pro masters and ford transit vans and there is a lot of pro builders in here if a tiny house is something you're interested in buying you can uh you can pick up one of these this is probably the tiniest house at the entire show this is an e-pike e-bike powered tiny house trailer check this out this is about the smallest most minimal thing that you can get <laughs> this is nice it's a sleeping pod inside of here hope the owner's not inside okay no he's not inside but check that out very simple can be pulled with a bicycle and have a little compartment where you can stay dry stay warm and have a tiny house on wheels that's pulled by a bicycle you don't see that every day look at that hitch setup how amazing is that that is cool so that's it for today's video i just wanted to show you around tiny fest southwest here in scottsdale arizona real quick show you a little bit of overview of what's going on at the show and let you know about the bread truck being for sale i will put the descriptions of the bread truck in the description of this video down below you'll see all of its features everything it's got going for it and its price check out the description of the video below and you will see all the listing for the bread truck i will also throw a link to the bread truck link uh, for Facebook Marketplace. If you're interested in buying a fully functional tiny house on wheels, check out the bread truck and hit me up. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you again real soon in another video right down the road.